Aquarius, welcome back to the channel, Air Sign. We are gathered here today on this brilliant Friday. It's so good, man. I've been enjoying my morning. Everything's been pretty, man, pretty relaxed and cool, man. <laughs> I got to see a celebrity today. <laughs> well, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy what you see here, man. Bring more Aquariuses into the reading. Um, but let's see what messages are currently surrounding you. What's the energy? What's coming towards you? Hopefully you enjoy your weekend. All right. Let's see, spirit. Using the Golden Universal Tarot, what are the messages for Aquarius? What are accurate messages for Aquarius sign today? All right. Let's get into your messages, Aquarius. Your grounded reading or your grounded message. Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Worried about finances at this time? Wanting to be financially stimulated here? Hmm, what are we doing? You're, you're trying to ground yourself here. What else is this? This is something else. I can't I can't think of what it is. This could be some sort of a new opportunity coming towards you though. You could be starting some sort of a new money making opportunity uh, money making journey or opportunity. Could possibly be even health matters as well six of cups so this is a date someone's financing a date <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is like uh two for ten at applebee's <laughs> he's not trying to spend three hundred dollars on a fucking date <laughs> but here we go we have um the real the real test of heart and courage and uh where this person's mind is is the thought right women will say it's the thought that it, that counts or at least that's what they said 10 20 years ago now it's all about how many wigs that you can buy them <laughs> again women don't like don't reciprocate these energies but they're gonna have to learn to do so or they won't be here on this planet anymore if men turn their backs on you you won't have any el anywhere else to go now that's through any race religion socioeconomic class everyone wants to be in interracial couples and all this sort of thing only because they can't deal with themselves or there's some sort of a self-hate there <laughs> all right what else do we have but definitely a gift coming towards you yeah someone sees you as the empress or you have an empress coming towards you here this is leo uh cancer energy <laughs> this could be i don't want to necessarily a, a, say a trick but they could be hiding themselves here grounded page of pentacles energy i would assume this is you working on yourself or not feeling healthy at this time but someone's coming towards you with a gift this is an empress yeah they're wanting to give you a pick-me-up mm -hmm. some sort of a spiritual flirtation here i would say they could be watching over you but i'm not sure let's see what the next message is they're coming towards you with some sort of a love offer here yeah you see the same imagery here they're willing to get down off of that high horse and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you or face-to-face -face with you here they could be some sort of a perceived celebrity or have some sort of a high value here she exhibits abundance creativity knowledge wealth everything but someone may be able may be able to cast aside uh this could be like a coming to america type situation don't know how many of those out out there exist or if you resonate with that but um yeah this could be sort of like a vetting process meeting someone new and not wanting to put out there that you have all of this to offer just for that to be the reason alone again women lead with sex but that is not enough to maintain a relationship it'll get you far maybe possibly depending depending on the dodo that you um that you court but yeah that's even when looks fade and sex goes away like you still have to be able to sit around with someone and laugh with them and partake in their energies. Even if you're not talking, you have to enjoy people's company. But this is what's coming towards you. Someone's offering a romantic gesture here. Ooh, they're obsessed with you possibly. Or you know what I'm getting? This could be very anxious energy here. This could be seen, uh, the Capricorn Major Arcana could be seen as karmic energy. Again, the seven deadly sins, sex, drugs, alcohol, obsessions, that sort of thing, bad behaviors, um, toxicities, mm, being bound together out of bullshit. Hmm. 
<laughs> what else am I getting from the devil card? That's weird. We have all this uh, positivity and then the devil shows up. Now, uh, it could just be obsession here. This could be like a tall, dark, and handsome man or woman. Women can take on masculine energy and men can take on feminine energy. At the end of the day, know who you are. <laughs> the devil showing up with the divine feminine. That's like me. I'm the divine feminine Libra, but I go around talking about him. Oh, you Lucy, a.k.a. Are you lucky? <laughs> Lucifer, the earth angel. One of God's most prized possessions was put here to test man. Nine of wands. Hmm. This could be some sort of emotional trigger or some sort of a sex addiction. Some sort of an obsession here. Yeah, a wounded warrior. Now, again, this is earthly knowledge. Once you've gone through certain things and certain tests, nines are karmic energy before you get to the 10, which will be your completion. Yeah, once you have earthly knowledge and earthly wisdom and you know how to maneuver through the earth plane like the devil, the devil walked to and from the earth. That's why he's so brilliant and knowledgeable. Once you know and you can experience certain things, see, people don't get it. In order to get to your happy place, in order to be a well-rounded person, you have to go through both good and bad things. It's not all about love and light. You wouldn't even know how you wouldn't know the feeling of happiness if you've never went through anything sad before and vice versa. You would not be able to use anger to get shit done if you were always just spoiled and you never had to work for anything. So don't look at the devil as if he's this demonic figure so bad. No, the devil is in you. What are you doing when no one's not looking? Do you have integrity while you're standing on your pedestal judging the devil? Everyone wants to blame the devil. That's what this. Oh, I was going to cuss so hard. The Bible. They put the Bible in people's faces and told people, don't take accountability for yourself. Blame this fictional character in this, this book of poetry that we've written. So everyone wants to blame the devil or they're waiting on Jesus or the God who's never going to return. These are people within you. The conscience. Again, I go back to the cartoons that we used to see in the Looney Tunes. The devil on this shoulder, the angel on the right shoulder. That's your conscience at the end of the day. So don't blame shit that you do on a made up figure like the devil or white Jesus or you're waiting on God to come around. You were made in God's image. So you are able to manifest, use discernment and judge people. All right. Hopefully you got the drift. We got death here. So someone could be overdoing it with the toxicity. Maybe uh, drinking, maybe sex. Or this could even be some form of an STD. Wrap it up. Want to watch? Maybe you want to watch my wrap it up reading from uh, earlier today. Hmm. Dealing with the Scorpio again. Very sexually uh, attractive individual. Uh, I'm not sure if they're as sexually attractive as the devil. The devil is temptation. The devil is obsession. Now, when you're having sex, you get that orgasm that feels good, right? Out of out of darkness comes light, right? Comes a feel good moment, right? All right, what else do we have? Ten of Wands, because I'm looking at this Nine of Wands, and here comes Ten of Wands coming up. Yeah, someone's very sexually obsessed, or they got a lot of energy in them. They may need to go to a gym and work out or something, do yoga, dance, get this energy out of you here. You don't want to ruin a relationship with just sex. Now we all enjoy it. It is one of the most powerful magics uh, ever created because without sex, none of us would be here. That's why if you get into esoteric or occult practices, it's called sex magic. <laughs> Which leads into advertisement and all that sort of thing. How the world sees you. We're all walking billboards. We're all walking businesses. Yet we put our energy into other people. Men come into other women and let them drain him. Then next thing you know, you end up with child support and that sort of thing. Women let men partake in their bodies. And then next thing you know, their bodies are out of shape and that sort of thing. And they're walking around like this, carrying burdens, overweight, obsessed, uh, or upset. <laughs> so again, what do you really know about the devil? Better the devil you know than some shit that you don't even know. Again, candles. We, we talk about uh, spirituality and candles. If the whole electrical grid of the world was supposed to go out, 
who do you think is going to have the upper hand? All the spiritualists, all the people with candles. All right, we have the magician manifesting something here. Someone's manifesting love here. They're definitely attracted to you. Could be some sort of a mild ob ob obsession or, I mean, yeah, they just have their, they have their sights locked on to you. Yeah. This could be a healthy obsession, though. I'm not sure how to take this. For Aquarius, yeah. Marriage here. They're wanting to bind themselves to you or be bound to you here. Again, uh, you have to take the good with the bad. You have to be a well-rounded individual. Mm -hmm. hmm. Three of swords shows up. Toxicity here. Third parties. Cheating. Sex scandals. Lies. Not getting enough attention. The devil is in a way here. This is a lot of obsession here. So it's going into toxicity. Yeah, we have a little bit of toxicity going on here. Major Arcanas, the devil, we have the magician, we have death, and we have the empress, the divine feminine. What is going on here? Hmm, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. That's a whole lot of sex obsession. That's sex talk. <laughs> Could even be having some sort of a baby. Now this could, I'm not sure if this is within the confines of marriage. Now we can't lie and say women don't like to be treated a certain way during sex because men like to be treated a certain way. Okay, so this is what this is. This is BDSM, cosplay and all that sort of thing. Yeah, okay, so that's what y'all be getting into on the weekends, huh? Y'all spin up y'all paychecks on uh, <laughs> lingerie and all that type of stuff. Look at that, 69. Yep, sex. Offering some sort of a sex here. <laughs> Coming in here with this romantic offer, wanting to drop burdens here. Make sure that there's some sort of a integrity standing on a solid ground here because I see three of swords. Someone could feel like they're not getting enough attention. Now, this bet not be no sex club. This can't, this bet not be no mixing, mixing your, flu, your fluids with a whole bunch of different people. This bet not be swinging and all that sort of stuff. Cuckoldry. <laughs> partaking you're offering your wife up to another man your empress up to another man hell nah hell nah that is crazy i'm not even gonna go through these cards <laughs> like share subscribe add value to the channel aquarius um yeah hopefully you enjoyed the reading partake in the other readings as well with your uh, moon uh rising and your venus signs as well peace